Oh, how the whiners are pined that students wouldn't be able to study abroad because of Brexit and Britain was pulling up the drawbridge to talent. Wrong and wrong again. The number of foreign undergrads coming here has soared to 600,000, hitting the government's targets 10 years early, while a record number of Brits are going abroad under the Turing programme, which replaced the EU's Erasmus scheme, with 150 countries to study in around the world. And surprise, surprise, the majority of British students choose America, Canada and Australia, while the brightest and the best from the Anglosphere flock here. And where are the world's top 100 universities, I hear you ask? The top 10 is entirely British and American, with the exception of Switzerland. While the EU's minor offering only starts at 44th place, with the UK alone almost doubling the number of celebrated universities than the block. Well, Pretty Patel has announced today work visas for the biggest geeks studying here, regardless of where they are from. In response, no doubt, to the EU booting the UK out of Horizon, the joint science scheme when we said we'd been the worst parts of the Northern Ireland Protocol. Or we've also scrapped a load of EU restrictions on research and innovation, proving we always have been and always will be at the forefront of progress and a petri dish of excellence. And you've doubtless read that imperial measures are coming back. That's right. As we inch towards our post-Brexit freedom, units that shopkeepers weren't allowed to touch with a yardstick are now going to be pound for pound alongside metric measurements. Whichever you think is miles better than the other, let's raise a pint to Blighty find finally finding its feet again. But it did make us all discuss in the newsroom which measurements we use and for what with many of us trapped in a weird hybrid approach. For me, cooking is in ounces, height is in feet, but I do weigh myself in kilos. Meanwhile, isn't it strange that some measurements are always given in imperial, particularly intimate body parts, despite the number being far lower? Well, that's all I've got time for today. Join me again for We Need to Talk About on GB News at the same time, 2 o'clock tomorrow.